my unique selling point is centred around my disability and the fact that it is quite unusual to see somebody with a disability dressed how I do and with makeup. Hi everybody and welcome to my very first clothing haul. Tess Daly has been wowing social media with her incredible makeup skills. But this beauty blogger has been disabled since birth, making her eyeshadow blending skills all the more impressive. I have got spinal muscular atrophy type 2. It's a muscle wasting disorder, so it makes me incredibly weak. I can't stand or walk. I was first diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy when I was 18 months old. My parents actually took me to the doctors because I wasn't crawling or walking and ever since then I've been in a electric wheelchair. I've been following lots of bloggers on Instagram, um, lots of social influencers, beauty influencers, and I decided that, you know what, I actually kind of think that's really cool and I can see myself doing that. So one day I deleted all the pictures of burgers, pictures of my dog, pictures of my family off my Instagram and turned it into something that would be a little more interesting to people that are interested in fashion or makeup. And I've slowly grown from there. Her striking looks have won her tens of thousands of followers online. Instagram is my main platform. I also use Snapchat quite a lot as well. I'm still trying to get into the whole YouTube world. Hi everyone, so this is my first ever YouTube video. I said I was never ever going to do one of these because to be honest I was a little bit scared too. That feels <laughs> so weird. Like it was a bad start. Alright, wait. Let me start that again. From the minute I wake up, I have my PA come in and help me get ready, they help prepare my food, they dress me. Are we giving approving nods? Yes, yeah. I think so. Getting from my bed to my wheelchair, things like going to the toilet, I do rely on great help from others. I am able to do my own makeup, for example, I do my own eyebrows, my own eyes, my own lips. My PAs do help with my skin, so when I employed them, they had to be aware that they were going to learn to be makeup artists in their spare time. 29-year-old Tess recently crowdfunded to raise money to buy a bionic arm to help her with everyday tasks such as feeding herself. I'm sat now and I can't actually move my arms higher than probably an inch off my lap. So the arm, I can raise my hand over my head, I can scratch my nose, I can pick it if I want to pick it, I can feed myself and that might not sound like a big thing to an everyday average person that can do all this but it's life changing. Scratching your nose is life changing. <laughs> You're absolutely going to have to bear with me on this one because this is like weightlifting for me. So I'm going to put the product in shot for a few seconds then I'm going to have to put it down because I might drop it. So here we go. <laughs> Is she in shot? Is he in shot? Yeah. Excellent. Today the makeup that I've put on only took me about half an hour, 45 minutes. However, if I'm going all extravagant and putting false lashes on and crazy cut crease eye makeup, it can probably take me like two hours. Well, I've followed Tess from the beginning when she had maybe about 10,000 followers. So it's been really fun because I've seen her grow. So I am very proud of her. She's one of the funniest people I've ever known. Genuine, fun to be around, really chilled out. Tess hasn't always been good at makeup. Well, she didn't know how to put foundation on, she put it on with her hands. I am proud of Tess. I think that some people might assume it's because of a disability when it's not all. Just because she's in a wheelchair doesn't mean she knows how to put on eyeshadow. She puts it on better than me, than half of my friends that are on disabled bodies, so she's just naturally gifted. I receive an overwhelming amount of support and love and really nice confidence boosting comments. However, I do get some quite funny negative ones. Being called a doll, being called a dwarf. I get things like vegetable, turnip, carrot. I don't generally hide away from trolls. The way I see it is people need schooling. They need to realise that they cannot go around saying this stuff to people, they've got to be held accountable for their actions. 
And I'm just the kind of girl that will go around and do that for him. You ready? Let's go. A lot of people with disabilities have actually contacted me and told me that I've changed things for them or I've made them see things differently. It kind of makes what I do have a little bit more meaning than just putting a bit of lipstick on or sticking a pair of shoes on. It gives me kind of a bit of a purpose behind what it is that I do. I usually hate the word inspirational, however I'm slowly accepting that to some people, actually, I probably am a little bit inspirational. It's not something that sits well with me because I just kind of get on with things, which I'm kind of digging at the moment as opposed to the parking. And a wine. Ah. Wow. <laughs> the gimbal's on one. Uh, I think I was saying something about a top. Um, so, yeah, again, the same top. Uh, I quietly hoped I'd get about a million followers eventually. But, you know, <laughs> small steps, small steps. I think that's it. What else do these YouTube people say? Subscribe, check. See you on my next video. I'll see you on my next video.